So I actually filmed a video yesterday, but I was just freaking out. I was so upset. I was screaming at the camera, complaining about everything. I said, let's take a more relaxed and reasonable approach today. And uh, I didn't do a video on Monday. I just thought it was inappropriate in the context of what happened on Sunday. And for those of you guys that didn't see that video, uh, the deal on the slaughterhouse didn't go through uh, to merge my business with that one and actually create something profitable because for the last seven months, I mean, the bank account's been basically the same. And for the last two, three years now running Frankie Syringe Meat, I haven't had uh, the potential for growth, you know, can't afford to advertise, the channel's censored, I can't keep consistent products due to the uh, inavailability of those products from my vendors, which is causing me to lose customers, you know, every single week when I can't get something. So uh, I spoke to the Slaughterhouse consultant yesterday, and as I suspected, that opportunity to buy that business was like very unusual once in a lifetime to my understanding. So I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just disappointed. It looks like I'm going to be uh, getting out of the meat business within the next six or seven months. I don't really know. Uh, but uh, yeah, everything just seems to be going wrong. I got this dehydrator mess still that we'll talk about. Uh, but first, uh, Shopify has blocked the main payments on organsupplements.com. They're telling me I'm not allowed to sell selenium, thyroid, and N-acetylcysteine. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't understand. You can't sell selenium. Like, it's completely insane. You can still check out with PayPal on organsupplements.com, but I'm, I'm going to look at getting off Shopify as a platform. That's just absolutely crazy. That, like, I, I don't know how to handle that. It's just, it's just, yeah, like, what if they just go on my meat website and, and shut me down because I can't sell tendons? Like, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Speaking of ridiculous, uh, you know, that guy jerking me around for seven months, uh, not being able to get the loan application submitted for the slaughterhouse. Like I kept asking him for paperwork, but he just wanted to sell the, the business to that other seller. And uh, the SBA was no help at all, the Small Business Administration. And I'm inclined to believe that the Small Business Administration is just being used to launder money to secret society owned businesses, because you got people like me that are looking at shutting down and they're waiting for months and months and months just for an email response. So maybe I'll do a separate video on the SBA, but nothing, uh, nothing positive. Uh, so let's talk about this piece of this $15,000 piece of dog shit. So the dehydrator, I originally intended spending about $7,000 on the machine and the transportation. I think we're over $11,000 now invested. I had a couple of electricians come by. I think four of them, three of them <laughs> didn't want, want to touch it. And the last guy tried, he was actually like, all right, I think I got everything set up. Let's turn it on. And he turned it on yesterday and uh, half the shit wasn't working. So it's very, very difficult. The guy, the guy tried labeling everything. He spent a couple hours here. I paid him a couple hundred dollars and uh, it, it's still not working. It's just a mess. It's a nightmare. That first electrician completely botched everything. So now I have to buy a whole new control panel from China. Thankfully, the new control panel is only 500. I thought I was going to be out a few more thousand. It's just now, you know, I could have been selling jerky for two, three months before I get the, it's, it's whatever. I'm just, I'm so disgusted by this shit and everything. I don't even want to be down here for one second, uh, let alone a couple of hours. Um, yeah, I, I trusted that first electrician because he did three other jobs for me, but he completely botched this one, which is going to cost me more money than all those other jobs combined that I paid him. You know, it goes to show you, you, you he, he was greedy for you know, five, six hundred dollars and he's going to cost the small business a few thousand. I got to either call the guy or get my lawyer involved because that, that should not have happened. That, that's, I have to do something about it. I can't just let that guy pull that bullshit because he's going to do it to other people. Uh, so the Wi-Fi shield and clothing is not ready yet. Uh, my tailor told me that her power went out, but I think, uh, I think she took a couple days vacation or something. Uh, but I know the power did go out in New York City. I don't think for a couple days though. So we should have that by early next week. Good news. We did get our Nature's Glucose in, so I'm going to unbox this today. I'm going to get it all bagged up with our labels, and then hopefully uh, I can launch our new glucose product on Thursday. Did I say Nature's Glucose? That's not going to be the name of it, but this is a 99% a organic glucose powder, and uh, it's just a regular white powder. It's nothing special to look at, but uh, it's going to be uh, one of my bigger product launches. Maybe after I launch this product, uh, some uh, secret society scumbag is going to offer me like $2 million to buy out the business and then I'll get to 
retire to my Mexican beach with my Mexican girls. So I got a bunch of orders to fill today for uh, Frankie Strange Foods organ supplements and then I want to bag that stuff up and I want to get out of here before two. So uh, I'm going to get working and then I'll, I'll show you guys a little update and we'll wrap things up. So we got most of the orders done for the non-perishable businesses, Frankie Strange Foods, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Just missing a couple things. If you guys ordered water kefir grains or moisturizing cream, I'll try to get that done within a day or two. Uh, we did run out of a couple meat items this week, so if you guys ordered flank steak, chuck roast, uh, you might get your order next week instead. Uh, just haven't been 100% on top of everything down here. You guys have been waiting for the beef belly a while. We have it back in stock, one pound portions. I think we got like three or four larger ones. And uh, something that you guys haven't been buying is the short ribs. We got plenty of like four or five pound racks, six pound short rib racks. You know, no one really sells this stuff 100% grass fed. So my guys are cutting up some beef liver and beef heart right now. Uh, that's another thing. If you guys order some beef heart, might have to wait until next week. Uh, my guys are a little bit behind on the cutting. I think we got like two or three days worth of stuff to cut up. So we got to kind of jump on that and keep it nice and fresh. I don't really uh, know what my game plan is over the next few months, but uh, you know that, that farm property with the dairy, the eggs, and the custom slaughterhouse is definitely not going to happen. Uh, so I just wanted to give you guys an update today. I don't know. We'll do the product launch probably tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. We're going to do the new glucose products that a lot of you guys have been waiting for. Friday, maybe we'll do like a general news update. What? all the nonsense going on in the world is and I don't know uh, but thank you guys for joining me today uh, just check out frank you can see all of my businesses uh, on the website just click each of them individually if you'd like to check them out uh, but outside of that I'll see you guys tomorrow